Hey everyone, Jason Hill here, and I'm so excited because it's grilling season. So nice to be outdoors cooking. Um, what side dish goes good with all of your grilled entrees? Of course, grilled corn on the cob. And today we're doing something a little different with the corn on the cob. We're gonna make corn ribs. And I'm gonna show you how I do it. It's really easy, it's fun, something different. And don't forget, if you're liking these videos, like, share, subscribe, notification bell, so you'll be notified when we make a new video. Let's get started. Okay, I have one cob shucked, and this is a tricky part. You're gonna wanna take a heavy chef knife, start at the end, and you're gonna wanna go tip down. And you're gonna make small cuts, because this is tough. And you go up about another inch, and we just make our way to the top of the cob. Or if you have a cleaver, you can do high top. But I don't have a cleaver, I don't know why I don't have a cleaver. Okay, we're almost done. I'm gonna get my hand out of there. Bam. Okay, once you have it cut in half, lay it flat side down. You take your knife, push through. So I'm gonna quarter them. There we go. Okay, next I take a half a cup of melted butter and I put in a tablespoon of my favorite hot sauce. And you can do whatever you want. If you like to season your corn, whatever way, go for it. Yeah, so we're just gonna baste the corn. And this mixture with a half a cup of butter and a tablespoon of hot sauce, you can probably baste at least six cobs. And I like to get all sides. You wanna get that butter soaking in there. Little pinches of kosher salt from the heavens. And then some fresh cracked pepper. Okay, and then I like to give it a little sprinkle of the tahini seasoning. This is a tangy, not really spicy, but just a flavorful seasoning. And it's T-A-J-I-N. All right, check it out. From my phone, I've connected and programmed my Green Mountain Pellet Grill to 400 degrees. We are ready to go hit the grill. Okay guys, like I said, it's at 400 degrees. And this is pretty much indirect heat cooking. So if you have like a regular propane grill, you would wanna have your burners over here on and maybe this one on low. That way you're not gonna char your corn to death. I'm gonna lay these in here. We're gonna let them go for a total of 20 minutes and we're gonna turn them at 10 minutes. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. I think they're ready. Let's pull them off. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, let's take a bite. Oh wow, I gotta take another bite. I'm gonna mow this thing all the way down. <laughs> so simple, something fun, something different. Give this recipe a try. Let us know what you think in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, notification bell. And as always, everybody, thanks for tubing in. Mm. Down to the bone. <laughs>